What's up guys, this is Sora with a new episode of Absolute Beginner Tutorials for Unreal Engine 4. In this video we will continue to look at the basics of blueprints. And we will do this by creating the enemy behavior for a game, which we discussed in the first video in this series. So, our goal is to create an enemy, like you can see here, which moves up and down between two points, and if the player touches the enemy, it goes back to the beginning of the game. So, we can divide this goal into two sections. Enemy movement and the player interaction. In this video, we'll focus on enemy movement. And we will do this by going through three steps that you can see here. First, we'll create a blueprint class, or in short, blueprint for the enemy. Then we'll create the starting point and the destination for the enemy. And last, we will move the enemy from its starting point to destination. When the enemy reaches the destination, we'll move it back to its starting point and so on. So, let's get started. Go ahead and open the side scroller project that we created previously. and first we'll create a new folder so go to the lower section below the viewport um, it's called the source panel to the left and right click on the content folder and then click on new folder call this folder AI I recommend you always create new folders for the content that you create and separate them as standard practice this will be very helpful when your projects starting start getting more complicated so now it's time to create the blueprint uh, while this folder is selected um, right click on the content browser and choose blueprint class under create basic asset so here you'll see a lot of different classes here and um, you might ask yourself so what is the difference between these well these are subclasses with additional functionalities for different purposes so you can make all of them basically from scratch but uh, if you know what you're looking for which functionalities it's, mu it's much easier to choose a ready-made one for our purpose we'll choose pawn it's the second one so click on that and call it AI1 Double click on the new blueprint and open it. So here to the left you'll see a section called components. Uh, click on add component and under common you see something called static mesh. So add that. And this is basically how our enemy will look. Uh, on the right side you see a detail section and then you have static mesh so click on that and choose whatever static mesh you want to represent your enemy I'll choose the first one which is a cube so now that we have done that um, it's time to get the starting point and a destination for the enemy so go to the event graph Delete all these uh, nodes that are already here so it will be easier to see. Uh, we will. The action that we'll use is a node called get actor location. So right click and write that in the search box and then you'll have it. So as you can see, there are two pins one input pin, which is a target, which says self and it's perfect because we want the location of this blueprint and the output pin which is the location so drag a pin out and click on promote to variable we do this basically to save it in a variable so uh, in the right side on the details panel change the name to home and there we have the starting location so now in order to get the destination we'll basically get a point which is above this point and in order to do that 
to do that we need a little bit of knowledge about vectors and I'll not go into that but basically we'll add to the Z coordinate of the home location so drag a pin up, a wire out of the pin and write plus so you get something called vector plus vector and here in the Z slot write 350 so our destination will be 350 points above our home. Drag a wire out and promote the variable. Call this destination. So there you have it, both the destination and uh, the home location. So click on compile and save uh, above the event graph. This is a good habit also to have. So our ne next action is to set the enemy moving. We'll use an event that will be triggered at the beginning of the game uh, to trigger this our actions. So right click and write event begin and you will something called event begin play. So just click on that and then connect the execution wire to our set variable nodes to set the flow of execution so the action node that we will use to get the enemy location or change the enemy location is something called set actor location right click and write set actor location and you'll get it under transformation as you can see this uh, node has four inputs target is self again which is perfect uh, for new location in the left section you see a section called uh, variables so and you see the variables we saved or we created there so take out destination and drag it out into the event graph when you release you get release the mouse you get get set set uh, choose get and then connect it to our new location so the last step is to move the enemy back and forth between uh, the destination and the home but we want the enemy to stay at the destination for a while before going back and in order to do this we'll use a node called delay which when executed waits for a specif specified time before letting the flow through so right click and write delay and under flow control you get a node called delay connect it to set actor location and set the duration to two uh, seconds so select set, set actor location control C to copy it and control V to uh, paste it and this time um, grab the home variable and drag it out and click on get and connect it to new location to get uh, send the enemy back to his home location so and we want to create a loop here so it goes back to destination again so first copy and paste the delay node so we'll have another delay and then from the completed execution pin just drag execution wire and bring it back to our first set actor location and now we have a loop uh, which creates our desired behavior to um, to make it more nice click on the execution wire double click on it and you'll have a reroute not not which will you can drag around and it makes your uh, knots or your script look nicer then um, the last step is just to select everything and then press C on keyboard and write AI1 movement again this is also a good habit to get into because as your projects get bigger it can be quite confusing if you don't do this so that's it uh, for this video guys you can go ahead and test this out and see if it works in the next episode we'll continue uh, working on the basics of blueprints by creating the interaction between the enemy and the player. 
So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.